Lifetime Achievement Award. Well, boy, I don't know. That puts a smile on my face in some ways. I don't know. Uh, I, was, I was writing a song with some friends of mine, and I came up, I came up with a line in the middle of the bridge with, uh, after all the rows I've hoed in the chaos of my life. I don't know. That, that seems to work. So you know, going through all this I've done since I was 15. Who would I thank in the business after all these years? Amit Ertigan comes readily to mind. He was the president of Atlantic Records, and I must admit, the, the, the likes of him you'll know, never see again. <laughs> he really moves me to back. And um, there's a bunch of the lads I got. Anyway, then there's others like Al Schmidt, who, uh, uh, who's tremendous. And, uh, you know, you learn a lot from these people, right? And then, of course, Graham Nash, who, my good friend, who, who has always stood by me uh, more than anybody else, right? You know, so, uh, and there's, there's a lot of people like that, you know. Keith Richards, who's always a laugh. <laughs> you know, every time I see him, he gives me, gives me hope. Because <laughs> he's, he's such a cracker, you know. Um, oh, there's a lot of people, that sort of, uh, that takes you back when you think about that. It's a lot of years, you know. It's funny when you get to a point like that and you start to realise, you think about all those things and it is pretty moving, you know, to get to this point and then, uh, and then you hear by humbly, you know, give me an award. And it's a, I think it's an award for knowing all these people and having the, having the luck, really, to work with them, you know, because that's the only way you learn, you know, is to listen and... Uh, and be blessed to work with a lot of, you know, the great people that, you know, make records. There's another thing too, like I said, you know, when you find somebody that believes in you and sticks with you, you know, my wife, I don't know if she's put up with me this long anyway, <laughs> but uh, I must admit she's a blessing and, uh, and I never get through all this. I mean, there's times in my life when, you know, all of us, you get a bit, you get lost and you get lost in it or without it. Uh, but since I've been with her, I, I'll tell you, it's sort of centered me out a hell of a lot more. Now, give me something to live for, you know? So, what are the greatest achievements that one makes in this whole deal, right? Uh, uh, that's a difficult one. That's a difficult one. I suppose staying in the game is, is the big one, right? Because if you stay in the game and you've got a sense of humor, right, you not only can laugh at all the terrible things that happen, right? You can remember them. <laughs> so that's that. That's the one that that, that really hits. Because we did so many tours with so many different people. Just recently, a funny thing happened right, on the way to the theatre, as they say. Right. So I get a call from a friend of mine that I've known for oh boy, I was trying to figure out thirty odd years, more than that. He called me up and he's working on an album with Joe Perry from Aerosmith and said that there's a whole bunch of tracks that Joe's got and uh, would I be in going down and hanging out with them and seeing if we could come up putting songs and lyrics and everything to them and making them something, right? So I said, absolutely, right? So I tore down there and uh, it turns out where they're all hanging out and where they're recording is Johnny Depp's, one of Johnny Depp's houses, right? He's got this a great studio with more guitars than Guitar Center. And we've done four songs that we've written. And they're all just going, you know. It's a lot of fun. And uh, Johnny's in there. He, he hangs out all night. And then we're all sitting there with pen and paper, right, writing lyrics. No, that won't work. <laughs> oh, that'll work. No, that'll work. No. <laughs> it's like a bunch of schoolboys writing something, right? But it's a lot of fun. and. Uh, I don't know when the album's coming out, we haven't finished it all yet, but that, that'll come up pretty soon. This album that, that Joe, Joe Perry's doing, uh, it started off as I, I see him, it's like Alice Cooper and Marilyn Manson, right? And all the, all the gang from the Hollywood vampire sort of crowd, right? I suppose I'm a vampire now, right? Yeah. I've never given blood before. 
No. Well, sort of. <laughs> so we were down there and, uh, and Johnny says, oh, let's go do the gig at this school uh, as a benefit thing, right? And of course we get there and Alice turns up, who I hadn't seen for years. Like, I knew him in Detroit in, like I said, if you stick around, right? It's from 1968, right? I end up on stage doing Come Together with him. I don't know how that happened. That was not exactly in the books, but but he's a lot of fun. He's such a he's a lovely guy, you know. And then Robbie, I turn around and Robbie Krieg is on guitar behind me, who I'd known for the doors and all that. So it was a bit bizarre, it was great. And it all went like perfect. We're talking about when I come back off this long tour that goes till June of uh, I talked to Jack and Johnny and him up there uh, of doing a, another album myself. Right? So that came out of the blue. I'm off to Ireland and I'm doing something that I'm really, I've always wanted to do, is uh, over, over the years of going over to Europe every year. And I've been to Ireland a few times lately. I've met some really interesting people. We're gonna do a whole bunch of my songs uh, from different albums uh, with Irish musicians like Pipes, Elian Pipes, and Mandolin, and Mando Cello, and maybe a Fiddler. So we're gonna film all this, because I'm, this is the big highlight. <laughs> Terry, in the Irish way, right? right. But it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. The songs, a lot of the songs I write, you know, are, are come from a very Celtic origin. I've just never broke them down to play them in, that, in the original way. And it's, this is, and they're all, I've talked to them on the phone, they're all ready to go. Words of advice to people that are considering doing this as a profession, right? A, it's not what it seems. Uh, B, stick to your guns, right? If you feel that you, you've got some, how do I say, uh, some sort of generation in you that you can write songs and create things, stick with it. Because I'll tell you, there'll be hundreds of people telling you you're, you're doing the wrong thing. But if you find somebody that really does believe in what you do, stick to your guns and do it. Because then you'll be different than anybody else. Otherwise, you'll just be, don't swear. You'll just be the same as everybody else, right? It's easy to say, but you know, you, you craft your own craft the way you do it yourself, you know? And you take your own influences. Don't just listen to everything that's around because you'll just be flavor of the month. And that's about how long it will last <laughs> these days, right? So good luck to you if you do. You have my blessing, I'll tell you. And uh, God bless you, really. This is very, uh, very humbling, I must admit, because I don't think I know. I've never had an award for anything before. Uh, but a lot of things happen, but not awards. <laughs> I see you.